Good morning and welcome to day 283 of 365 days. My name is Pastor Jay Lutz and I will be leading you through this new period um, known as the Maccabean Revolt. Um, now you might say, I've never heard of this before, because you probably haven't, because it's not within the 66 books of our uh, normal canon of scripture. Uh, this is told in between the canons of scripture in the book of Maccabees, most specifically. And so in another podcast, I'll be speaking on Maccabees and a wisdom book called Sirach. Um, wisdom being like Proverbs or uh, Song of Songs. Uh, but today I'll be reading uh, on this one, Proverbs chapter 22, 1 to 4. Um, <clears throat> now Solomon in this speaks to the desires of humanity, that what is common to all is that God is their maker, and that our lives, uh, like our names, like the maker, uh, mean something, that a name means something, and that it's only through careful care for the future that we can avoid suffering and build up esteem, find refuge, wealth, honor, and life. So let us get into our reading for today. A good name is more desirable than great riches. To be esteemed is better than silver or gold. Rich and poor have this in common. The Lord is maker of them all. A prudent man sees danger, takes refuge. But the simple keep going and suffer for it. Humility and the fear of the Lord. Brings wealth and honor and life. Here ends the first and only reading for this session. So, what is this? What do we learn from here? Well, we learn that um, we see that it's many things contrasting here: the prudent and the simple, um, those who are rich and who are poor, um, and those who have humility and those who do not. Um, and so, what is it trying to tell us here? Well, it's trying to tell us here that there are some similarities. That each and every one of us, whether we acknowledge it or not, um, has the Lord as our maker. We all were made by God, um, for God, uh, and on this earth that God uh, placed us upon. Now, some of the things that contrast in this is when he speaks about uh, those who, uh, in times of, of trouble, see danger and take refuge. Those who look forward, those who look ahead and care for their future, are able to see the pitfalls, the obstacles in their way, and to avoid the danger, and at some times take refuge when they know that something is going to come after them, right? I mean, there's often times in our life we don't realize that we are being attacked. Uh, and that's when we're kind of like the simple. It says the simple keep going and suffer for it. Uh, we don't want to be like that. We don't want to be not observing what's going on around us um, and allowing for anything to come our way and to harm us. Um, but we're called to be like the prudent man who sees danger and takes refuge. Um, and how do we do that? Well, one of the keys to this we see is humility and fear of the Lord. When we, when we humble ourselves, when we allow for God to work through us, uh, God reveals these things to us. When we walk down our path, uh, God doesn't allow for these dangers or troubles to overtake us, but he warns us. Um, sometimes it's by, by other people. Sometimes it's through visions. Sometimes through dreams. Uh, and sometimes just through our regular knowledge and wisdom and understanding. He brings these things to our attention. He places these things on our hearts. Um, and when we walk in those ways, uh, God brings us many things. Wealth, honor, life, it says, and esteem. Like when we talk about self-esteem, uh, we talk about the, um, the ability to have confidence in our own abilities. 
Um, but uh, esteem comes from, to have a good self-esteem oftentimes uh, comes about when we know our worth. We know our worth and we know when we are made in the image of God, we were made perfect and that God doesn't make um, anything wrong. Uh, he made us just the way that he uh, intended to create us. And so we know our wealth and our worth in Christ and that that is more desirable than either silver or gold. What else is more desirable than that is having a good name. Um, when we go into the world, we are take we take upon the name um, in our culture that our fathers have given us. Now, in other cultures, we call them matri um, matrilineal lines. Uh, so that's when you take on your mother's name. But either way, you are carrying the name of your family into the world, and either you can make a good name for yourself or a bad name for yourself, depending on how you how you carry yourself, how you act, how you speak, um, what you do. Uh, these things matter. And they either make a good name for ourselves or a bad name for ourselves. And here Solomon is encouraging the men to walk in such a way to orientate themselves to, um, to do things in such a way that you get it, you receive a good name uh, because he says it's more desirable than great riches uh, to have a good name. It's better to be known as somebody who um, is of good character than somebody who is a shady character. And so um, we, but how do we do that? With humility and fear of the Lord. When we humble ourselves before God, uh, God builds in us um, good character. Uh, yesterday I was listening to um, somebody, a reporter asked um, one of the, one of the, probably one of the greatest advocates for um, reform in North Korea, uh, it, whether she thought that people were good. And her response to the reporter at that time was, um, if people were good, North Korea would never exist. And so then he said, so then how can, how, how can people become good then? If people aren't intrinsically good, if they're not made good. Uh, and she said, by properly, uh, building virtues and characteristics that are good. And so how do we do that? Well, we humble ourselves. We come before God in humility. We lower ourselves to a point in which we're willing to learn, where we're willing to take advice, where we're willing to listen to the things of others around us. If there's things that our friends see within us that they, they think we need to change, that we heed their, um, heed their advice and we work towards being better people. And how do we do that? By taking on the things that God instills in us. Um, we talk about the, the fruits of the Spirit. Um, those are like gentleness, kindness, self-control, uh, love, peace, patience. Uh, these things are things that God instills into us that we learn from God. We learn in patience and understanding. And that's how we grow towards uh, the fear of the Lord. And that's what brings wealth and honor and life. As we walk along with God, God instills in us the goodness, um, the goodness of him and the characteristics of God that make us better people. We are better because God is the best. Let us come to God and give thanks to God for this. Father in heaven, we give you praise and we thank you for your instruction. Thank you for your wisdom that you share with us. Thank you for shaping our hearts and our eyes, our minds, able to see your will, that we desire your will on everything we do. Help us. Help us, Lord, to be able to desire, to be able to do what you want for us. Without your grace, we can do nothing. With your grace, all things are possible. Hear our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me today in this Bible New Year, day 283. May you be blessed by this reading of Proverbs, and may you take it to heart um, that we... 
we are given the ability to to do what is right uh, before God, but it requires for us to humble ourselves. Uh, and then in that, we can make a good name for ourselves. We can build proper esteem. We can have humility, and we can be people of prudence that look and care for the future. My, that's my wish for you today and always. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.